Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about an important electrical terminology called as grounding. I am going to discuss about what is grounding, why we need to do grounding and what are the different types of grounding in electrical power system. So, first let us understand what is grounding. Grounding a tool or electrical system means intentionally creating a low resistance path to the earth. Now you may have a question, why we need to create a low resistance path to the earth? What is the need? Yes, of course there is a need. So, whenever there is a ground fault, that means when the line conductor makes a contact with the machine body, the leakage currents needs to be connected to the earth to protect the human who is involved in that particular machine. On the other hand, whenever there is a surge taken place in the electrical power system, the high voltage which is coming in the line needs to be also grounded, otherwise the equipment will get damage or the insulation of the equipment will get damaged. So, this is the requirement of grounding. So, we need to protect the man as well as the machine from the hazards, electrical hazards. So, based on these two objectives, I am going to have two different type of earthing. One is system earthing where this system earthing is helped us to protect the machine from any sort of surges which is taken place in the electrical power system. The surges can be an internal factor or because of the external factor. The internal factor could be like switching on the grid or switching on the heavy loads or switching on the capacitive banks or switching off the capacitive banks or it is because of any other internal line to line connection or any short. In the other end, the equipment ground is used to protect the man from the electrical leakages. Okay, so, let us understand how this is being achieved. System or service ground. In this type of ground, a wire called the neutral conductor is grounded at the transformer and again at the service entrance to the building. This is primarily designed to protect machine tools and insulation against damages. What it means? So, when we have a three phase system, the neutral point of the three phase system is connected to the ground. So, as I told you, whenever there is a surge at the high voltage taken place, the unwanted high voltage taken place in the electrical system, this over voltage needs to be grounded. So, this grounding is helping us to put this high voltage or over voltage or the surge voltage to the ground, so that the system does not have the higher voltage so that it does not affect the equipment. So, it is protecting the equipment from the voltage surges. The voltage surges as I told you it could be because of the lightning or it could be because of the loading, unloading of loads or the capacitive banks or whatever it is. Okay, so, this is the purpose of system grounding. Let us understand now what is equipment grounding. So, equipment grounding is done to protect the human being from ground fault. For example, you say there is a connection between the line connector and the machine body, the leakage current would available would be available in the machine cover. And when the human comes in contact with that machine, 
it start discharging through him so the man undergoes electrical shock so it could it could you know rise a problem for him if the voltage is very high it could even kill him so we need to protect this human being from this kind of ground fault so we need to give the alternate path for this leakage current so this alternate path should have lesser resistance than the human body in general the human body the average resistance taken as 1000 ohms so we must provide a very less resistance path so that the current which is coming through the leak so this will go to the ground so that the human, human being can be protected from this kind of fault right so now let us see as a pictorial view of this system we have a transformer here delta 2 star connected in the secondary side of the transformer the neutral point of this transformer is connected the secondary neutral point is connected to ground through pure conductor so that whenever there is a voltage surge happens in the system or voltage imbalance taken place in the system so the imbalance current would go to this ground through this path and on the other hand in the load side when you see the load here the equipment that is the machine frame or a yoke or a body of this machine is connected to the ground with a low resistance conductor so that in case of any electrical leakage as shown here as a red color arrow mark so this leakage current would prefer the least resistance path instead of air going through the human body or any livestock so this is the purpose or of having the equipment ground and this is the purpose why we have the system ground I hope you are clear with what is system grounding and equipment grounding so let us meet in the next video to discuss about what is ungrounded system what is solidly grounded system and what is resistive grounded system thank you thank you so much for watching Thank you.